ever you've walked out and you've spent time with trees, then you'll know that different trees have different energies. And if you stand with a birch tree, it's a completely different energy to standing with an oak tree or with an elder tree or with a hawthorn or a hazel or with a cedar or a cypress. And as you begin to spend time with the trees, you realize that each of them has their own energy and their own way of being. And after having spent most of my life being drawn to certain trees for a reason, um, I have discovered why they're so healing and there is a healing energy that runs through them. Everything in life is energy and we are energy and the trees are energy and everything has an energy field. I'm standing here today with an oak tree that I've met. Uh, I don't know if you can see it up here. This oak tree is incredible and you can't really see it. Half of it has kind of died and there's no leaves growing. It just looks like dead wood. And people say that, don't they? Oh, it's just dead wood. It's afraid. And then the other side, I don't even see. The other side has leaves growing and the inside is now hollowed out and there's rotting wood. And so we tend to see trees as bits of wood, don't we? Or a bit of wood falling off as a branch, as a stick, as a twig. Now they are made of what we've described as wood, but they have their own life force and their own energy and their own healing. The oaks are very strong trees and they're seen as survivor trees because they survive being hit by lightning. Um, and they get hit by lightning a lot because they have a low electrical resistance. So you often see these oak trees, they get cut down the middle and they half fall over and they're still surviving. And there's oak trees which are hollowed out in the middle. They're called wishing trees. You can go inside and make a wish. They have branches that come up and they're usually spreading out in a huge crown. And the crown is representative of the roots that are going in the ground because they spread out um, quite wide in the ground so that they can accommodate what becomes quite a huge stature. They have what's called a stag-headed appearance sometimes because they cut off nutrients to some of their boughs and they drop the boughs because you can imagine there's a lot of energy needed to go through all those boughs and provide all the energy to all the leaves and photosynthesize and grow. So they're being quite ganny really. This tree itself, like I say, uh, probably has something happen and uh, the, the actual nature of some of the branches incredible being and the energy I've come across with this tree in particular uh, knowing that oak trees generally are very strong they have such a very strong nurturing energy and they really pull you in when you need that nurturing and if you work with flower essences they are for confidence and when you've been given out too much of yourself and you feel a lot of stress, they build you back up in the solar plexus region. They come, uh, they help you come back into a sense of who you are and what you need in your life. And sometimes I think a lot of us need that because we're giving out to a lot of other people and we forget to nurture ourselves. So that's why I like the oak as well. They're very gentle, gentle giant. And uh, this particular tree has a different kind of energy. It's a quieter energy. I was through this tree and it's kind of like a very, still very gentle and almost like I'm at a stage of my life where I'm very in tune with the earth and kind of I think as we feel as humans you know you probably age you get older and you start to realize what's really important in life and you know what's important in life is being in harmony with what's around you being gentle with yourself being gentle with others remembering that you are of the earth you are spirit and there's not so much a fight or a passion sometimes you still have fight and passion but you can kind of be at peace with what is and where you are and what age you are and i think the trees really do teach us that the oak is a sacred tree a very sacred to many cultures and the gospel oaks you know that we would share the good news underneath the oak trees you know there are oaks all around britain that are celebrated for their huge size and they're now propped up with these struts to stop the branches falling off. I've met some incredible oak trees in my life and I can say quite a few of them are friends. They're places I go to when I need that bit of healing energy and that peace and that strength and that quiet. But another thing is that we can give healing back to the trees. So I've been standing with this tree and just giving a bit of energy back uh, moving energy through and giving that to the tree and a quiet kind of exchange of who we both are on the earth. We're both living, we're both going through our journey and uh, what will be, will be. <laughs> so 
So coming out of the trees helps you discover about energy, about trees, about yourself, about life. The oak especially, you can see, craggy, oh, it's, it's coming, almost coming apart. There's bits of the bark that are really loose. Yeah, and it's just fantastic. And so coming to that state of, of love and what they can teach us, because these are wise ancient beings. So I will be talking about the healing energies about the trees. Um, any of you who follow my channel know that I have spoken about quite a few trees so far. I just felt compelled to talk about this tree today. I really, really drew me in in quite a powerful way. So uh, enjoy your journey with the trees, enjoy your healing, and I shall see you again soon.